Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well. Uh, this is Emma Newman. So as time will do that beautiful piece um, and I found it through the uh, video made by Paul Barton and I put the link in the description below and this piece is a transcription um, that is made by Vladimir Shkinadi and it's based on the original arrangement made by uh, Alexander. I don't know, it's A. Alexander, Felix A. Alexander, Alexander, I don't know. Uh, meaning that Ashkenazi actually changed quite uh, noticeably the second half of the original Alexander version, and I like it even more. So I'm very grateful for this transcription uh, because I think it's just simple and beautiful, just what I like. Um, and since I'm not sure about copyrights of the score, I will not use the score in the video and I'll just put the link um, in the description below. And the score has all the fingering, also rearranged hands to ease playing of this piece. And as usually, uh, there will be some alto phrasing and four marks. Um, so now I could dwell on explaining every step of practicing this piece with imagination, the wrist movements, uh, how it all helped to create beautiful singing tone, uh, but that's not that important. So today I just want to focus on the most interesting topics about this piece that I found along the way, and these are voicing, harmony, and musical speech. So let's quickly go over them. When you open the score on the second half of the piece, you will notice that original melody will be pretty much hidden in the texture of the right hand. And to find the melody, you will need to know uh, the tune very well. So in my performance, I was voicing the melody, I think, quite prominent, so you can just follow the tune. And most of the time, you will encounter uh, something like this, like three or four notes where you would need to bring up uh, the middle voice. Um, okay, for example, this one. Where you need to, you know, with this fourth, fourth, third finger, kind of like this, not, not like this, but like this. So, uh, it could be one of the challenging parts because uh, not only you need to bring up the middle voice, but yet you need to play the chord together. So, it could be challenging unless you have good skills of imagining voices with different distance. So we all know you imagine this one on a certain, uh, with a certain quality of the sound, and then you bring this one closer to you. You place yourself closer to this. And if you simply follow this, then uh, it will bring right impulse to uh, finger muscles tuning them perfectly together. So I literally, without even playing, I already feel over here how I would play this chord together. And there are lots of them here. I don't, not that much, but still enough to be a bit uh, challenging with that. I was amazed by how Rachmaninoff could match harmony in the melody with words of the song. So I decided to make it as a main part of my tutorial and uh, I'm going to give you just some examples and so what I'm going to do, I will first translate each phrase in English, then I'll play while singing in Russian, forget about my singing, just give you an idea. And what I want you to do is to listen how beautifully the color of each harmony speaks about the set of each phrase. So let's get started. It's beautiful here. This is Sparkles like fire. Dali agnyongari 
clicar. is always like a um, blue <laughs> your touch will be changed. There will be so much more meaning in it. Okay, so let's go to the last part. As you know, every interval has its emotional meaning that one would feel through intonation. So the third is about beauty and romance. The second is more akin. The fifth is calm and contemplative. And the fourth is more energetic. So now look how Rachmaninoff created the melody using mostly thirds and seconds here. I think this is just 
really amazing. So let's go from the beginning. Imagine that you feel this meaning through your intonation. You wouldn't just sing oh, internal. Oh, you would sing. more nuances okay so third third and second again third I don't know if you can follow me so basically second and third and third and fifth again third second third another tip for you where you can dig in and find more meaning and expressiveness in this piece uh, and that's about it um, I think I should just mention that when you open the score there will be also the circle notes, circle notes for your elbow movements uh, blue brackets are for left hand you know where left hand takes something from the right hand uh, the slurs, of course, as you know, would identify phrasing, and there will be always some vertical blue lines. There's, they are separating every sentence from each other, and there will be also some mysterious letters like I, B, R, C, con, meaning introduction, beginning, rising to climax, climax, and conclusion. So I hope that's clear and. Um, have fun with this piece. I absolutely enjoy it. I, uh, I've been playing it for three days and I just can't stop playing. I just keep playing and playing and playing. And I believe that when I record it, I mainly record it for myself. I will just listen and listen and listen and listen <laughs> till this um, um, need of beauty will finally pass and I will switch back to prepare my last tutorial. Okay, um, um, thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.